Are you hungry? Hi, and welcome to another episode of Görgöt. Today we're making, as <laughs> who would have guessed it, pork belly. It's a Chinese uh, variation called Hang Xiao Ru, or red pork belly. It's basically a braised pork belly, quite sweet, salty, a little bit of heat. It's a great dish. But before we start, as always, please click the subscribe button. Check the little bell icon if you want to get updates when new content comes online. But now, let's have a look at the ingredients. All we need is on the board here. We have our pork belly. Not a very thick piece, but it's a nice piece. We have 40 grams of sugar. We have all our kata spices. Around 50 grams of ginger. Four cloves of garlic that I smashed a bit. We have two star anise, some dried chili, Szechuan peppercorns, 12-15 corns, half a cinnamon stick, half a cup of dark soya, four tablespoons of light soya, and two tablespoons of Chinese rice wine. And we'll start off by boiling our pork belly quickly. We'll put our pork belly in a pot and just cover it with water, and we'll bring it to a boil and let it boil for about five minutes. It's been five minutes. We'll get our pork belly out. Now, don't make the mistake of throwing away this. We need it for later on, and this is a perfect kind of a pork belly stock. So just put that to the side. Our boiled pork belly, and now we'll cut it into the sizes we want later. So we'll split this piece in half. And there were two reasons for boiling it. One is to get a bit of stock, and the second is that it's easier to cut. And we want kind of, yeah, centimeter and a half, two centimeter pieces, so about this size. We'll cut the rest up. And now we're ready to start working on the flavor of the dish. We've heated up some neutral oil, and into this oil goes the Szechuan pepper and the chilies. You just want to toast this a bit. You don't want to burn it. Now that's enough. Now we'll scrape it all out. Next step is to make a caramel. We'll put in our sugar. We put it into the same oil where we toasted the, the Szechuan pepper and the chili pepper before. I would just wait for this to caramelize. Have a nice caramel. I'm going to put back the pork belly. And into this we also put our soya mix. Put back the spices that we toasted together with the star anise and the cinnamon. Making sure that the sugar that probably got a bit hard from the soya sauce dissolves again. So our sugar has now dissolved nicely into the soya sauce. Now it's time to do the switch around. You see, we're putting it back. Everything goes back into the stock pot. And now we add our ginger and garlic. Bring it to a boil, then we turn it down to simmer and put the lid on. As you can see, we brought it to a boil, we put the lid on and we turn it down. It should simmer for, it depends on like how much pork belly and how many pieces, but anything from an hour to an hour and a half. So let's check it after an hour and see if we need more or if it's ready. It's been an hour and 10 minutes. The easiest way to check is to just kind of take a chopstick and go on the skin side and press it and see if you can get through the skin quite easily. And as you can see, I can. So these are ready. Now we'll take out the pork belly. So they're all out. 
And now we want to reduce this to kind of a syrupy liquid. So what we'll do is we'll take a new pot. We'll strain this into the new pot. Because all the taste is already there. And now we'll turn up the heat and reduce this. So full heat, reduce until there's a syrupy liquid left. Well, this is also the point in time where you kind of want to make sure your seasoning is right. If it's sweet enough, etc. Well, basically only if it's sweet enough, because it's going to be salt enough and it's going to have enough flavor from the, um, from the pepper and the chili. But you can check the sweetness and if it's not sweet enough, add a little bit more sugar. And what I normally do, I'm not doing it today, but I normally put in some pak choy into this. So while I'm reducing the liquid, I'm also cooking the pak choy, because the pak choy goes great with the pork belly. So you'll see it's the perfect lacquer now. We turn off the heat and put the pork belly back in. And now we just want to coat the pork belly with this nice syrupy, tasty goodness, basically. And once that is done, we're ready to serve them up. So let's plate these up. See if we can get them standing. Nope. But you get the idea. I'll have some of them standing at least. Some of the goodness, the nice aromatic sauce, and then just to get some color on it, we have some coriander, and some chili. Let's try it. It's like eating candy, pork belly candy. Mm. You probably, if you like like salty caramel as an ice cream flavor, <laughs> I'm sure you would like red pork belly as an ice cream flavor. Mm. It's just so tender. Nice, fatty, salty, a little bit of spice, a little bit of sourness, basically everything you need in a perfect dish. Now normally I would serve this with some rice, the pak choy that I told you about before that you can cook in, in, the, in the sauce while it's reducing. It's a perfect complement to the pork belly. Because yes, it is quite a heavy dish. So just some white rice, some pak choy, and you're set to go. Mm. So good. If you love pork belly like I do, you have to try this dish. It's quite simple to make, it takes a bit of time, but it's not difficult at all. As always, if you stuck with me this far, click the thumbs up, the like button. And if you haven't done so yet, also the subscribe button. Well, that's it for this time. Thank you very much. Until next time. Bye-bye.